What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about CD Projekt Red's future. They announced it today. They came out. I mean, I think people were expecting some big stuff, but I think they were kind of expecting big stuff with The Witcher 3, you know, next-gen update, which still they're saying is this year, but they don't have a date. Really, the biggest things is they kind of unveiled their next 30 years. I mean, that's kind of an exaggeration. No, really, they probably showed us the next 10 or so, which is quite a while, but it's it's actually way more detailed than you would probably expect, right? So you may have seen the visuals or the graphics going around. I want to kind of go through each one uh, in kind of a summary video here. Again, kind of the outskirt announcement. The Witcher 3 next-gen update is still happening. They still say it's coming out this year, but they didn't give a date. I mean, we have two months left. Honestly, I think this thing is probably early December, and they'll probably announce it like two or so weeks before. That's going to be my kind of formal prediction. I think we'll probably hear about it sometime in November, and it'll come out sometime in December. They're pushing it literally till the very end, um, but you know, at least in that case, it would actually come out this year. But we'll see. We'll see if that ends up happening. They talked about you know opening up more studios, working on games simultaneously, but then we got the big stuff. So we got three Witcher projects. Let's start there. That's actually the order they started at. And the first game is going to be one that includes multiplayer. Now, during this presentation, they kept bringing up, you know, multiplayer. And multiplayer, I think, in one of the graphics they even said, would be included in most of their upcoming games. But the way they worded it in the presentation was slightly different. So I do want to kind of talk about that. This, The first Witcher project, which is serious, that's the one that is going to actually have multiplayer. They talk about how that one's going to be different than what they've done before, and it's going to be aimed at a broader audience. Now, that's not always necessarily a good thing. However, you know, obviously without even knowing what the game is, uh, and maybe it's some sort of like co-op adventure or an online kind of thing. Again, it's going to have multiplayer. You're going to be able to play with other people. So cooperatively makes a lot of sense. Um, and so that was the first one. And I don't know if necessarily these are in order. They did kind of describe them in order. Um, and, so, and so maybe these go kind of based off years. They talk about the new Witcher trilogy games, right? So this is what they had talked about previously. They're working on the first one, and then it is going to be a trilogy. So they formally announced that, I guess, before they only gave hints. They said like, well, you know, you normally would continue these kind of things, right? Like they gave hints that, okay, we're going to make more than one. We're not just making one and done, but they formally announced it's a trilogy. Interesting part though, is they're going to come out within six years of each other, starting with the first one. So if the first one comes out, say in 2025, then within six years by 2031, all three would be out. So what they're basically doing, depending on, we don't know the first one, how long they would be working on the first one overall, but they're giving themselves, you know, on average three years for the second game and the third game in this trilogy. First game comes out three years later. Second game comes out three years later. Third game comes out. Well, I mean, that's a, it's a long-term plan. I don't know if you even need to tell us a lot of these things, by the way, these are plans that are quite a while out. But it is interesting to know, you know, kind of what they have. And then the third project, uh, they didn't really talk about it much, like, at all. It's a Witcher project. It's an early development. It's it's seeming, I don't know if it would come out, I doubt it would come out, like, after the third game in this Witcher trilogy. But, like, if you were going in order, that third game, which they do emphasize is by a third party, it's not by them, um, that game is probably coming out after at least the first game in the Witcher trilogy, the new Witcher trilogy. So, we're probably looking, again, three, four, five years away for that one. Then you go to Cyberpunk. They obviously talked about the expansion Phantom Liberty. Not really actually anything. They just said it's still happening and it's coming out, you know, next year. And then they mention the sequel. Obviously, this is the big talk around town. Cyberpunk 2077 is getting a full-fledged sequel. Um, and they didn't really, the only thing we, they really emphasize there is that it's going to, I believe like their quote was, it's going to unlock the potential of this, this world. I will say this, and it's kind of, there is some positives here, some negatives. Positives are, you know, cyberpunk, the potential is gigantic. So I do understand what they're talking about. I understand technically how they, I guess, worded it, right? And I think factually, this is a franchise that has a lot of room to grow, expand, and become better. All right? I get that. And that that is a positive. And I also do think, like, sequels would, you know, happen. I think, uh, I don't even think it's all that surprising that we are getting a sequel. On the flip side of it, right... I can imagine, and it is something that kind of like hit me, where it's like, well, I normally don't like hearing it on the like on the same coin. 
I don't like hearing how basically so you made the first game but you didn't make it you're or I guess you're making it sound like you didn't make the first game up to its full potential does that make sense saying that the second game can unlock the full potential that you you know you kind of started and now you're gonna finish it doesn't always hit at least you know maybe maybe that's just me maybe I'm kind of reading into it too much but that's uh that's one way of I think hearing it out loud is like well we didn't really do our jobs right with the first one but we promised with the second one we're gonna do what we kind of said we were gonna do with that first one does that make sense and so that's uh that's one of the ways I think uh, of hearing it but you know again it's it's a world that you would imagine would get sequels and the potential there is gigantic and then a new ip codenamed hadar and this is also from them they talked about how like the game is in development but it's not like literally they are thinking about the game they're putting the foundation down for the game they got nothing else they got nothing else and it is a while out so you know honestly for that one why even announce it why i mean i, I guess maybe they want to be known but uh for like doing more than two things right so like they but they lean into it that's the odd thing right they lean into their flagships being witcher and cyberpunk so you lean into it but then you're like well we have another game that's probably like eight years no joke probably eight years away and we're gonna say we're doing it but we got nothing like we don't even have we're not even working on it we're working on the concept for it and that's another thing with game development that I don't think we uh, honestly need all the time. We don't need to know about games, you know, eight to ten years away. But there you go. There's the outlook for CD Projekt Red. So lots of Witcher stuff and different Witcher stuff, which I do think could be pretty cool. Even though we don't know at all what the third game is because they didn't really describe it, we can kind of know what to expect from, you know, a Witcher trilogy. And then a multiplayer leaning, let's say, maybe game, right? I mean, it's different. It's very different. Uh, it's got some variety, and it, it hopefully is really good. And then there we go. We got the future of Cyberpunk. We got the DLC, obviously. And that's it because and why that's it is because they're making a sequel. So uh, that'll be interesting to see how they do, right? So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up. And I hope to see you all on the next video.